Hello friends. Our next question is long, longest common prefix. In that we have to check all the elements have same character. That means we have to check uh, all the elements that are present in the array and having same character at the each level. So we have to check that. So description is about uh, uh, write a function to find the longest uh, common prefix string among the any array of strings. So we have to find the longest uh, common prefix that is present in the array. And if there is no common prefix, we have to return the empty string. If there is no uh, uh, prefix uh, available in the uh, string array, so we have to just return the empty string in the uh, double quoted form. So the uh, first example is uh, we have given a strings array. So like a flower, flow and flight. If you check the first element is uh, same in the first character in the uh, first string is f and every other the uh, other uh, string also has a f uh, word f character. And if you also check the l also character is available in all other uh, string also. So we have to return uh, that uh, string in the form of and uh, output is f l. For second example, if you check that uh, uh, string array, there is no character uh, has the same uh, character in the string. So like uh, D, there is no uh, D in the position of zero. So we have to return the empty string because there is no common prefix uh, in the input string. So constraints are uh, for a string uh, array length 1 to 200, the length of the array are in between uh, 1 to 200. And for uh, string length, that is a string present in the array, the length are 0 to 200, that also uh, 0 to 200. And all the strings that are present in the array, all, all are lower case. So we don't have to consider that test case or uh, edge cases. So that's why uh, they have given the constraints. So this is all about the constraint. To uh, complete this question, we can do uh, a two pointer technique or a brute force approach but we are trying to reduce the that uh, to uh, log n uh, n log n so that is uh, we have reducing the time complexity so we have to first uh, uh, sort the array to sort the ar array uh, so i am going to convert uh, the language so i am going to do in the java so first i have to uh, sort the array so to sort the array i have to use inbuilt function in that present in the arrays that is arrays dot sort that will sort the array after that i will uh, store the zeroth position string that is str1 and that is the strs of zero that will present in the student position so i am going to sorting this array and i am taking the zeroth position uh, uh, string after that i am taking the last string that is uh, after sorting that array so that is the strs strs dot length minus one that will give me the last string and uh, to uh, go through the every index so i am going to take one index array index element that is zero and i am go going to use while loop because uh, i am going to check that the strings uh, of one length not greater than the in, uh, index so that's why i'm uh, taking the while loop so that is st uh, that is index is not greater than str one dot length so length we here uh, to use the length we have to use the length method that is present in the string uh, class so that we have to use that and i am going to you uh, also checking for the string 2 so i am using and if one of them is failed so i am going to break that rule so index is less than str2 dot length and uh, i am going to check that element present in the string 1 and element present in the string 2 is same if that is correct then i am going to increment the index so str1 dot care care is the method that is present in the string so to check the element that every uh, position in the string so that is why we have to use the care add 
and we have to pass the index and i have to go to check with the str2 that char at index so after if if this condition is uh, passed then i have to uh, increase the index to check other element also and uh, if that is failing so that i have to you break the loop and i have to just return the index of that uh, element and uh, i am use, uh, returning the str2 or str1 you can uh, do the any uh, one uh, string uh, and i am going to use the substring uh, method that is present in the string class so i am using that we have to pass the variables from starting points to ending point where you want to uh, divide that string from uh, starting point to ending point so i have to pass that also so i am going to pass the zeroth position because i have to uh, get the prefix uh, substring so that's why i am starting at a zero and i will uh, check that uh, from where from where to uh, where i want so i am going to pass the index so in this index i am going to getting the index from uh, this loop so that index will uh, divide the st any string uh, which is having the same element in the every uh, every uh, string so that is why i am uh, passing the index and if that is not a present then it will uh, automatically give the empty string directly so i am going to uh, run the code so these are the test cases are passing so if you check the time complexity so we are using the sorting technique so time complexity is a uh, n log n so because of the we are using in built uh, sorting technique that sorting technique works on uh, time complexity n log n that is using uh, quick sort so that's why uh, n log n and uh, space complexity is uh, uh, n because we are storing only elements and not using any extra places for the other element so we are using only a uh, sorting technique and all there so uh, n is the uh, space complexity so uh, if i try to submit the code so it is going to accepted and all the test cases are passing and uh, if uh, thank you for uh, watching my, uh, this video if you have any problem related to dsa java you can contact uh, to our website or you can go through our website and you can directly contact through a mail or uh, whatsapp so we can uh, give uh, uh, any problem solution uh, do, that we are facing so we can uh, solve we uh, in flexible uh, time that is uh, uh, we can do in the our uh, website so we can uh, go you can go through our website and see all the uh, functionalities on all that so thank you